<laughs> don't be scared. <laughs> don't no. Don't be scared. <laughs> don't be scared. So, uh, you want to tell us what was going on? What's Patrick doing? What's going on? Well, I was driving down the road about 40 miles an hour. I was having a conversation with my buddy Patrick, and out of nowhere, I thought Zach rear-ended <laughs> because the thing went sideways at like 40. And I guess that the rear diff just gave out and locked up. So I had to fish sail with no power steering fluid to a stop. And now we're towing it back to open it and see what happens, see all the damage. <laughs> so I guess my bubble gum did not hold. <laughs> but other than that, the ring and finning are still fine. Everything's great. So we just gotta re weld it. <laughs> shaft fell out <laughs> so it's in four-wheel drive right now just to get it back to the garage so we got it re-welded even more heat this time
I'm serious he's gonna go into the tree. What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, fuck! Hey, you guys! Help! Are you good? Are you good? <laughs> okay. So we rewelded it even more this time. Quick recap of the day, went to rebuild the rear diff, nothing else was wrong with it, spider gears were toasted, center pin wouldn't come out, decided to weld it, weld worked great for a while, absolutely melted tires, felt good, felt strong, felt happy, plate came out though, shoved itself in between the ring and pinion gear, locked the rear end up, towed it home, re-welded it in, Rear end holds fine now. Rear end's happy again. <laughs> U joint in the rear explodes out. So rear drive shaft's not in the truck. Drove it home in four high. So drove it home front wheel drive. Front clunks and squeaks. So the front drive shaft, maybe one, maybe both U joints are pretty tired on the front drive shaft that pulled the truck home. So it's gonna get two new front drive shaft U joints, rear drive shaft U joint. Power steering pump blew out like first skid basically i don't know why the power steering pumps on these do not like skidding i mean it makes sense 6000 rpm trying to turn the wheel it probably is not gonna like that so i'm gonna order a high performance power steering pump which for these trucks it's not even that much money it's like 250 bucks and you can get like a really really good high performance power steering pump so i'm gonna get that for the truck Gonna go over the front end of the truck, make sure it doesn't have any wheel bearings bad or anything. It kind of feels like there's a wheel bearing on the front right. So if so, it'll get new wheel bearings, um, any ball joints it needs or anything. Then we're gonna install the line lock. So not exactly sure when all of this is gonna come around. I'm gonna do the rear U-joint tomorrow so that I'm not driving the thing around in four wheel drive. And then I'll probably pull the front drive shaft and do those too. So U-joint soon and checking over the front end soon. I'm happy with it. I'm not upset at all with the stuff that we had happen today. It doesn't owe me a damn thing. It performed amazing. It, it went great. I'm not surprised that a few things went wrong. That's bound to happen. And we're just gonna make everything stronger. I'm also buying another rear differential next weekend. I'm going to possibly rebuild that one with the kit that I have, or if it's just good enough, then I'm just gonna put the spool in that one because I don't wanna run the welded diff for very long just because I mean, we rewelded it and it was better this time. Um, I had my buddy do it and he's a little better than I am at welding. So it's better, but I still don't really trust it a ton. So we're going to put the spool in another rear end and then put that rear end in this truck. Probably going to do that like in the next week or two. Um, so things coming together. It's been great. I'm happy about it. Uh, I don't regret a damn thing and I'm excited. But that's going to be all for this video. So I hope you guys really enjoyed. If you're new, feel free to subscribe to see more content. And we'll see you in the next video.